you mentioned again science fiction and action. Action like taking a 747 and driving it into a building. Did you really do that? There, that actually we, yeah, happened then? We did. Christopher? We, we really did it. Uh, we had, uh, I'd scripted a, this sequence with this plane crash and we looked at doing it with, uh, you know, miniatures and CG and set builds and everything. And when you added up all those numbers, it occurred to us that it might actually be cheaper to buy a real plane. Um, <laughs> originally, we had our eye on like a 737, something like that. Yes. And we went, we went out to the, uh, you know, the airplane graveyard or the, you know, where we could buy an old 737. And while we were looking at the 737s, I started looking across the field. You could see these MD-11s and 747s. And I sort of thought, you know, and I said to the line producer, well, hang on a second, why can't we get one of those big ones? And let's, let's see if we're <laughs> going to do it. Um, I so it. I, I actually had the unique experience of impulse buying a 747 and then getting to crash it. Okay. Uh, I have a few questions, if you don't mind me pulling on those strands here. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Uh, when I was watching this film, I didn't think while watching that scene that this was done for economic reasons, um, that it would be cheaper to do it the way you were doing it. That didn't, that didn't, how, how does one uh, impulse purchase a 747? Christopher, well, how you, does one you do that? buy it from the salvage company who then offers to buy it back from you okay. bits that you don't destroy. And the key thing is you sell the engines. You take the engines off first because that's the expensive part that okay. they reuse. So we took the engines off, built our own engines, much cheaper engines, obviously, fake engines, uh, you know, just a little electric motor to turn the fan blade. And that way, you know, you're not doing any of the CG. You're also not building the interior set, which for an airplane is very expensive to build. And you're not building and shooting a miniature, which would be millions of dollars right there to do it well. Huh. Uh, so in a weird way, yeah, it was kind of a wash. Um, <laughs> but you, you can only do that if you've got a team of people working for you who can figure out right. how to do this. And so, you know, interesting point. Um, I'm sure you've seen The Dark Knight. Of course. Um, you know, there's there's a scene in The Dark Knight yes. where an 18-wheeler truck flips over onto its back. Yes. So the guy driving that truck is a is a great stunt guy called Jim Wilkie. He's been around a long time. Um, he's the same guy driving our 747 uh, in Tenet. And so it's literally a thing of saying, Jim, can you drive a 747? Can you figure out how to do that? And, you know, you have a team like that, people that you've worked with for years. You can do these things. And here I thought Michael Caine was the most valuable member of your team, Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, there's in front of the camera and then there's behind the yes, camera. Yes, understood. There's, there's a lot of people involved. Yes, there's a lot of people. And Christopher Nolan here on the Rich Eisen Show. I, that, that's a question I wanted to ask you, not to put you too much on a spot here, but growing up in London, if I had told you that you could make a movie where you could bash 747s into buildings and also car chases that exhilarate or make several films with Michael Caine, which would you have chosen? <laughs> I, you know, uh, bashing things up and blowing things up is a hell of a thrill. Yes. Uh, but the the longer I do this job, the more, you know, working with somebody like Michael, who, you know, for a British kid growing up, I mean, yeah, absolute legend, absolute legend. Uh, and uh, to have had the times that I've I've got to have with Sir Michael, uh, I wouldn't trade those for anything. I bet. that, that uh, It was just a delight to see him in Tenet. I'm like, okay, I'm expecting to see Michael Caine. When am I going to see him? And there he was. And he was just, it was great. And it's just, it, it really was just a delight to see him. I'm a big fan of his. And obviously he's been in, in so many of it, the Prestige and the Batman films and Inception is just in a great film as well. Um, I've got he's a few. actually in Dunkirk as that's well. Right. A tiny little, uh, there's a bit of his voice playing over the radio. Oh, that's uh, right. Reprising his pilot from, from Battle of Britain for many years. Oh, before. my gosh. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.